Okay, hello guys. Quick uh, tutorial. Uh, car with the 3D model with no colors. Take two random colors or obviously just for um, exercise. Two colors, put it there so it, they appear in the material. Create material. Switch. Drop the two colors in the switch. Then color with the switch color the, the, the car. Obviously now, okay, I'm gonna color the majority of it. Check if it works. Here, switch material. Check the two thingies. If the, if it changed color, then yes, it works. Then, V sets. Uh, yes, actually we need uh, to create scene. Create geometry, sphere. Put a small number because they are gonna be very big. Transform, be sure it's in translation. Yes. Translation, shift, one, don't put it too close to the car, then we need another one, scene, create geometry, sphere, same same uh, radius, so they look uh, the same, yes, and then move it uh, like this, so when they will appear with the animation, they will be next one to the other, and they will, they will look good. Then, the variant sets, create two variant sets. Okay, it's gonna be blue, uh, our color, uh, colors are yellow and blue. Variant one, click once to change color. Blue sphere. And yellow sphere. Blue sphere material, we take the switch. We take, go to material in the variant sets, blue sphere switch, but uh, here state, uh, yeah, the, the, my yellow is called potato, uh, reflective blue, then go here, material, put the switch here, potato, that is our yellow, so this and this, then we go to interaction, touch sensor, one, uh, no wait, um, to make it easier, uh, okay, here, sphere, zero, is gonna be our yellow one, sphere yellow, the number two, the one on the right, will be sphere blue, put one here, one here, then we drop the switch material, no, wait, variant sets I meant, blue sphere on the blue touch sensor yellow sphere on the yellow touch sensor and then color not with the uh, switch one but with the original one the two spheres now i have okay this that's uh, yellow this blue one okay so now it should change color and this is the first part of the exercise be sure that this part works perfectly okay now we open graph we open curve editor from here and then from uh, animation we do timeline i already have it open it's this one uh, then we go to the graph we take both these ones like this then right click edit and then there should be group selection. Now it's a grouped node. We then, with this uh, highlighted, with this highlighted, we go curve editor and we do this key all channels. And they are here. From here, we started the animation. We go, uh, the first we, okay, here we put 400, that will be the whole duration of our animation and then here we put zero there should already be zero but be sure then here in the curve editor we do scales x zero it will be the start of our animation so everything must be zero i'm talking about scale x y z not the other stuff the other stuff don't look at them okay we put zero And then we put key all selected uh, channels. Now it's at the zero. Then we do uh, something along the lines of 35. 
that will be now we are at the frame number 35 right now we want our animation to be at zero uh, at one 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 i meant we need one one and we need the one here and we do key selected items now it's really uh, zoomed out but you can see it is at the uh, number one it is one respect to uh, this graph then now oh oh sorry okay sorry i clicked away and disappeared we have to reclick group the nodes uh anyway um now we have to go since our animation ends at 400 and the start this part in which the balls appear is 35 frames we we want 35 frames also for the balls to to disappear so we do 400 minus 35 so it's 300 65 that will be the start of the animation when it goes back this point that is uh, in the graph is like way on the right but it's okay we, even if you don't see it you don't need to see it it will be all one 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 we don't have to change anything so we do key selected items key selected items please yes sorry it wasn't going now there is there is the last part so we put uh, the end of the animation is at the frame number 400 so we put 400 and we put everything on zero since we want it to be the same as it was at the start of the animation so we put zero zero and zero again remember to uh, also put the point zero 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 just to be sure i don't think it will do anything but just be sure and kill selected now to see if it actually works we look at our car and the timeline we can move in the timeline and see that the balls appear the same place like they should and then they disappear very good but what we can do that the professor taught us is we put this all the part in which it goes here and we do this flat tangent so it becomes smoother now it's zoomed out but we know yes here like this we took the same part as the first part and we do again flat tangent so the balls now will have a smooth animation is way smoother in which when they come near to the final position they will slow down so it looks better and the professor uh, gives you extra points okay be sure that everything works with the timeline with the group the nodes uh, and this be sure to do the flat tangent because it's a very small thing but the professor said it's it makes everything much better okay when we are here uh, uh i already did it but uh, group nodes you highlight it curve then do create block and it creates this one group the nodes then you go to variant sets you create another one called new variant it goes in the middle because of the alf ar uh, alphabetical order you go to animation group the nodes and you have to put it there here like this new variant then we go to um the car shift we take the part that you have to touch uh that will make the, the animation start so uh well, let's say the bonnet i took the bonnet here uh, i go to graph i see the the 3d model i take it i put I put it in the touch sensor then I go back to the variant sets new variant I put it there now if we cl close everything this it will start the animation 
and then we can do this and it will change the color good luck everybody with the exam